everyone in this video we are going to learn how to write the converse inverse and contrapositive of the conditional statement basically kisi bhi conditional statement ko hum three more statements mein convert kar sakte hain that is converse inverse and contrapositive now how suppose we have the conditional statement in which we have taken two proposition p and the q and we say that p is implying to q now the converse of the statement is the proposition q implies p basically here p is implying to q when we write q is implying to p that is called as a converse of that conditional statement in short conditional statement mein hypothesis convert ho jata hai conclusion mein and conclusion is get converted into the hypothesis means we read it as if q then p and if you want to write its inverse inverse of this conditional statement p implies q is equal to negation p implies negation q means not of p that is implying to the not of q and the third is contraposition of the conditional statement that is is equivalent to negation q implies negation p means not q implies not p it means jo bhi hamare paas conclusion hai q take its not and that is implying to the not of the hypothesis so such statements are called as a contrapositive now let's understand with the help of example example is state the converse contrapositive and inverse of the conditional statement i come to class whenever there is going to be a quiz ab is statement mein pehle judge karna hai kya ye conditional hai agar conditional hai what is a hypothesis and what is a conclusion like in this case it says that jab bhi class mein quiz hogi to main class mein aaunga to hamari condition kya hai that is there is going to be a quiz and conclusion kya hai that is i come to the class so very first step is always identify what is p and the q p is hypothesis that is your condition that is there is going to be a quiz q is i come to the class now what is conditional statement according to this means p implies q that if there is going to be a quiz then i come to the class now we need to write the converse converse means if p implies q is there its converse is q is implying to p so we need to write the converse of the conditional statement that is q is implying to p what is the converse of the statement so we write if i come to class then there will be a quiz now what is the inverse of this conditional statement inverse of the conditional statement is written as negation p implies negation q that is not of p implies not of q that is is equal to if there is not going to be a quiz then i do not come to the class now what is the contrapositive contrapositive is negation q implies negation p so we can say that if i do not come to class then there will not be a quiz it's a very simple first step identify the hypothesis and then identify is the conclusion once you get that one you can directly write the converse converse is q implies p that is a converse statement simply put if over the q then write p statement after that you can write the inverse that is a not of p implies to the not of q so aap simply not adjust karo p statement mein and not adjust karo in the q statement then write if then form 
Similarly, you can write the contrapositive of the conditional statement that is not Q implies not P. So simply write not Q, take F word, then not of the P statement. Let's take one more example. If you get 100 marks in the final exam, I will give you a chocolate. So first identify what is the hypothesis and second is conclusion. Hypothesis kya hai? You get 100 marks in the final exam that is your P statement and Q statement is you will get a chocolate from me. That is a conclusion. So if P then Q. Now we need to write its converse. So how to write the converse of P implies Q? That is Q is implying to P. Now what does Q implies P? That is if I give you a chocolate then you got 100 marks in the final exam. That is the converse of the conditional statement. Now how to write the inverse of the conditional statement? That is not P implies not Q. That is equivalent to if you don't get 100 marks in the final exam then I will not give you a chocolate. Next is the contrapositive of P implies Q. That is not Q implies not P. That is equivalent to if I do not give you a chocolate then you did not get 100 marks in the final exam. So this is how we can write the converse, inverse and contrapositive of the conditional statement. So basic step, identify hypothesis, conclusion, then write if P then Q form, then start writing the converse, inverse and contrapositive. Now let's take a look on the truth table of these three propositions. Truth table for converse, inverse, contrapositive of the conditional statement P implies Q. So right now we have two propositions. It means we have four possible cases in the truth table. How? If P is true, Q can be true or false. And if P is false, Q can be true or false. Now we need to write the converse, inverse, contrapositive. So here we have taken the conditional statement P implies Q. Q implies P is converse. And negation P implies negation Q is inverse of the conditional statement P implies Q. Negation Q implies negation P is the contrapositive of conditional statement. So for that we need not P as well as not Q. So therefore I have mentioned these two columns. So negation of P means not of the P statement. If P statement is true, not P is false, false. And if it is false, not P is true. Next is negation Q. For negation Q, take the not of Q statement. If it is true, negation Q is false. And if Q is false, then negation Q is true. This means false and here it is true. Now in the previous video, we have already covered P implies Q statement is false only in a one case when P is true and Q is false. Now identify where P is true. So P true kaha pe hai? First and second case. Corresponding to that, we need Q as false to get the false statement. Ab Q false kaha pe hai? Second case mein. So only in a second case, the statement is false, otherwise true. So jab bhi aapke paas conditional statement ho, sabse pehle identify karna hai ki P implies Q false kab hota hai. That is only in a one case, jab aapka hypothesis true ho, lekin condition false. Hypothesis true kis mein hai? That is in a first and second case mein. And corresponding to that conclusion kaha pe false hai? That is in a second case. So only in the second case it is false. Rest was true. Same concept ko hum use karenge to create the truth table for converse, inverse and the contrapositive of the conditional statement. Now Q implies P. 
ये स्टेटमेंट अगेन कंडीशनल है कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट फॉल्स कब होती है वेन हाइपोथिस ट्रू एंड कंक्लूजन इज फॉल्स इस केस में हाइपोथिस आपका क्यू है एंड कंक्लूजन है फॉल्स ओनली इन दिस केस द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स अदरवाइज इट इज ट्रू नाउ आइडेंटिफाई क्यू इज ट्रू इन विच केस क्यू इज ट्रू इन फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड केस आइडेंटिफाई वेयर पी इज फॉल्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दीज टू केसेज ओनली सो फर्स्ट केस में पी की वैल्यू फॉल्स नहीं है थर्ड केस में पी की वैल्यू फॉल्स है इट मीन्स ओनली इन द थर्ड केस द रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स अदरवाइज इट इज ट्रू लेट्स अप्लाई द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट ओवर द इनवर्स ऑफ द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट Now this statement is again false only in a one case. Why? Because it is a conditional statement. When negation P is true and negation Q is false. Up negation P true कब है? That is true in third and fourth case. Right now we just need to look into the third and fourth column, not in the first and second, because it is a not P. Not P कहाँ पे है Third column में so identify where it is true so it is true in the third and the fourth case now identify where negation Q is false corresponding to these two rows only that is only in the case third so over this case the answer is false and the rest are true now what is the truth table for the contrapositive so negation q implies negation p again conditional statement so this is false only in one case when not q is true and not p is false now not q kaun se column mein hai that is in the fourth column this is true when in the case second and fourth identify where not p is false so not p is false in the second not in the fourth so it means only in this case this is false otherwise it is true now you can observe if p and q both are true all the statements are true whereas if p is true q is false in that case conditional statement and contrapositive are false whereas converse inverse are true in the third case when we take p proposition as a false and q proposition as a true converse and contrapositive again gives the same value as a true on the other hand converse and inverse are false in the last case when both the propositions are false all the statements are still true to so overall hum observe kar sakte hain conditional statement एंड कॉन्ट्रापोजिटिव के रिजल्ट सेम है इन ईच एंड एवरी केस वेयर एज कन्वर्स एंड इनवर्स रिजल्ट आर सेम इन ईच एंड एवरी केस वेन टू कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन हैव सेम ट्रूथ वैल्यू दे आर कॉल्ड एज अ इक्वलेट सो अल्टीमेटली वी कैन से दैट द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट एंड इट्स कॉन्ट्रापोजिटिव आर इक्वलेट एज वेल एज द कन्वर्स and inverse of the conditional statements are equivalent so what does it means agar aap conditional statement loge ya fir aap uska contrapositive loge to logically un dono ka meaning same hai ya to wo dono true honge ya wo dono false honge similarly agar aap converse or inverse statement ko judge karoge whether the statement is true or a false तो लॉजिकली उन दोनों का मीनिंग भी सेम है सो व्हेन वी हैव द सेम ट्रूथ वैल्यूज द कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशंस आर कॉल्ड इक्वेलेंट